What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. You probably saw the title of this video and you're thinking, Megan, what the heck? So let me just explain um, why I would be making an entire video to make fun of my grandma. This is That's not what this is. I'm not making fun of her really. I mean I am but I'm not. Um, she gave me permission to film this video so um, I wouldn't be filming it if I knew she didn't want me to. So I did get her permission to film this video for you guys and it's just something that I thought would be super hilarious. Um, where this all started? So basically, wherever she goes, my grandma writes a Yelp review. This includes restaurants, hotels, stores, you name it. Literally anywhere she goes, you know, there will be a Yelp review to follow. So one day I was bored and I decided to read some of those Yelp reviews. And that's how I knew I wanted to film this video. As I was going through reading them, all I was thinking is this would make a fantastic YouTube video. So that is what we're doing today. Um, if you're having a bad day and you need a good laugh, I hope this video cheers you up. Um, it definitely gave me a good laugh reading some of these. So I hope you find it as funny as I do. So if you want to hear some interesting Yelp reviews then keep watching. Okay so I'm on Yelp.com and I'm not go I'm not going to say the names of any of the places that are in these reviews just to protect their privacy. Um, I'm not that terrible of a human being so we're going to keep that information private. Um, so I'm on my grandma's profile. Um, she has 171 reviews. And it says she's been yelping since 2016. I just love the word yelping. Like, someone asks you what you're doing on your phone, you can be like, I'm yelping. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're just going to dive into some of these reviews. Um, the first one is actually one of her most recent ones. And this is about a hotel that she stayed in recently. Um, at the top there's like a, um, I'm gonna put the screen somewhere, it should be somewhere over here. The way Yelp works is at the top you can um, give your, give the place a star rating. Um, so this hotel, she gave two stars. And <laughs> this is what she says. We stayed here 20 years ago and it was past its prime. When I checked the Hotels.com website, it looked like the rooms had been updated, so we booked four days over 4th of July weekend. $200 per night. Okay, let me just stop there. That is a little expensive for a hotel, especially this one. I know where it is. Um, yeah, $200 is a little expensive. Upon our, our arrival to our room, we found we were sadly mistaken. There there had been no upgrades. The bathroom floor was dirty and gross. The coverlet on the bed was smelly and oh so tired. And the blanket was so pilled and worn that I pulled it right off the bed with my fingertips. The old curtains are beige, allowing the light from the outside to flood into the room all night. The water pressure and temperature were very fickle and I got tired of fussing with it. Plus the water wouldn't completely shut off in the shower. The outdoor stairs are crumbling and dangerous. The breakfast is strictly continental. There are no hair dryers in the rooms. Thankfully we had so many activities in the area that the only time we spent in the room was to sleep. This place could and should be so much more. There are a few places to stay in this wonderful town that has a summer population that swells to five times the amount of its round residents. I can envision being a destination resort with a nice restaurant and outdoor activities. My two star vote is for the friendly staff, comfortable bed, clean sheets, and the fact that we weren't charged for the room key that my husband lost. Whoa, <laughs> that's harsh. 
I mean, I would probably say the same thing if I had stayed there and it was that gross. It sounds like something from like the 1900s. Like it doesn't even sound like a modern hotel. Okay, here's another one. So this review is on um, a pub. Yes, that's what this is. A restaurant, pub type of thing. And she gives it two stars. First sentence. So disappointing. Period. The service was excellent. The dessert was excellent. The beet salad was very good. End of positive review. <laughs> My husband and I shared the veal pasta dish. I had to ask for a steak knife to cut my medium cooked veal. The pasta was dry and uncooked. We also tried the soft shell crab appetizer. It was mostly breading and the crab didn't have much flavor. We did like the beet salad and the presentation was appealing. Our table of six shared two interesting desserts. A parfait and a turtle brownie sandwich. That sounds delicious. I mean, I would go for one of those. The restaurant is beautiful with on-site parking. The entrees are way overpriced. Well, <laughs> and she had to ask for a steak knife. What kind of service is that? I've never been to a restaurant where I had to ask for a steak knife. Just saying. So, I mean, it sounds like it deserves the two-star rating that she gave it. The next one is about an aquarium. Um, this one, she also gave two stars. I'm starting to see a little trend with two stars. And she says, be prepared. Admission is $30 for an adult, $23 per child. Photo of your group, $35. $2 for a hurricane chamber experience. $8 to $18 for parking. Very small and limited food offering. I was disappointed in the amount of information on the place cards of each exhibit. I know kids don't always read, but these adults do. What I did see was many requests for donations and sponsorships throughout the museum. This is a non-for-profit organization and donations are important, but I donated at the door. A good deal of the aquarium is populated with rescue animals and sea life. The Sea Turtle Hospital is impressive. The diver show was okay, as are the talks held on the hour in different parts of the building. There seem to be so many employees standing around, especially at the photo booth area. This is the second time we have brought our granddaughter to the aquarium and she is still impressed so that's the most important thing yes as long as you're still impressed just keep going back okay guys i finally managed to find a one star review on her yelp account this is about a ghost train adventure honestly not even really sure what this is but um it got one star so let's find out why Ha ha ha. Thankfully, we had a senior discount for this farce. The best thing about it was driving through the town at night. Not sure what age group this would appeal to. Corny stories by fast talking guides. I have no idea what they were talking about. We were given these laser lights and a flashing handheld ghost finder and told to take lots of pictures with our phones and if we saw any orbs or appearations to send the pics back to them for their library of ghost sightings. Steer clear unless you are totally bored and want to waste some cash. I never knew ghost hunting was like an activity that people do, but I guess don't do it because it only gets a one star review on Yelp. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to end this video with a five star review. Um, most of the ones I read before got um, lower stars because obviously those are more funny and more interesting to read than five star reviews. But um, here's one about a cocktail bar and seafood restaurant. Upscale dining with fine food and the most attentive servers and hostesses. 
there were six of us that came to dine and listen to the soulful, soulful sounds of our favorite local musicians. We were asked to be we asked to be seated in the front room near the band and were quickly accommodated. My husband loved the blackened grouper with a side of asparagus, and I really enjoyed my order of yellowtail snapper with coconut infused jasmine rice. Our companions also raved about their entrees. The owners stopped by to check on us, as did our server, several times throughout the evening. That was great, greatly appreciated and made our evening special. Prices are comparable to other nice restaurants in, in um, the area with a pleasant abundance ambience and delicious food. If you are in this area and want to give an experience to remember, try insert name of restaurant. <laughs> so that is all for this video. Um, I hope you guys got a good laugh out of it like I did when I first read them. Um, like I said before, I didn't make this video to make fun of my grandma. Grandma, I love you. Um, this was not, that's not the point of this video. Um, they were just too entertaining not to share, so I really, I really had a good fun time filming this. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and listening to interesting Yelp reviews. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything's down below. Um, let me know what you guys thought and I will see you guys on my next video. I like